welcome to Somewhat Unbiased. And uh, it looks like 2K has signed a deal with the NFL for them to make a non-competitive game against Madden. So what does that mean? What that means is they can make an NFL game with all the licensing, the teams, the uniforms, etc. But they can't make a game that's a simulation, which is Madden is a simulation game, sort of, type. That they can't do that. But they can make, like, NBA 2K um, arcade or something like that. Just something very arcadey and crazy that they can't make. They could make. Anyways, um, this comes from Polygon. So let's go ahead and read some of this here. So it says here, 2K is getting back into officially licensed football video game business. Having struck a multi-year partnership with NFL that covers multiple future video games, and the parties announced Tuesday, which is today. Um, I feel like any kind of competition within big video game companies, you know, or any other services that that's out there anytime they have a competition it makes the it makes us get better products um, that and that goes with video games when companies stop competing for each other we get a shit ass game like freaking Madden NFL football which is garbage and riddled with microtransaction because they have no competition at all there's nobody out there that can compete with Madden because they hold that license with the NFL and they're the only one that can make an NFL game but since this news was announced today, which gives EA, um, I'm sorry, which, which gives Take Two an opportunity to make um, simulation, non-simulation video game, or any kind of product that we can enjoy besides having to just have one entity without license, which is, you know, not cool. So we don't get better product; we get shit product. Anyway, let's go on. But don't call it a comeback. The deal is for non-simulation football game experiences, according to release from 2K. So it doesn't give the publisher the ability to revive its darling departed NFL 2K franchise. And back then, NFL 2K was a way superior product than Madden was. Their graphics was better. The gameplay was better. Um, ESPN 2K5 was still a pretty solid game comparing to Madden 05 or whatever. And then after that, everything just kind of like, you know, dwindled and went off because EA went around and paid the NFL a boatload of money, which the NFL loves. So I'm sure they got a shit ton of money too right here with this deal with uh, 2K Interactive. The agreement between 2K and the NFL for which parties did not disclose financial terms, which should be a boatload of money, will produce multiple multiple video game centers on fun, approachable social experiences, said 2K President Davis Esmaela. I don't know if I'm saying that right. In a statement that suggests that the publisher will focus on making games such as arcade-style sports titles in vain and Saber Interactives. <laughs> like uh, NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. Like I said, they already have something working on, but various games are in early development, 2K said, with plans to release them starting in 2021. So, that's pretty cool. It's because they don't have to put anything on the current generation consoles right now, so they're going to be focusing on PS5 and Xbox Series X. That's assuming that it does come out this year. Um, right now, we're very uncertain. It looks like everything is on track right now for us to receive the new consoles by this holiday season, but it's very doubtful because of the outbreak of coronavirus, you know, I ain't scared to say it, coronavirus, because of that, of uh, what's going on in the world. A lot of things have been pushed back. Um, James Bond movie got pushed back to November. A um, couple of venues closed their conferences. GDC was canceled. So there's a ton of uh, stuff that's been canceled because of the outbreak that's going on right now. So I don't know if we will get these new consoles um, this year. But we'll, we'll see. The publisher specified in news release that rollout is scheduled to begin sometime during Interactive's 2022 fiscal year, which means the earliest possible release window is April 2021, which is nice. It's worth noting that 2K's deal with the NFL only covers the name, logos, associated elements from the league, and its 32 teams, not the 
names, images, and likeness of any NFL players. The two sets of rights are typically handled separately, and indeed, an NFL spokesman told Polygon that 2K needs to sign a licensing agreement with the NFL Players Association in order to use real current NFL players in its upcoming video games. A representative of 2K said the company could not comment on which, which such a deal was in place. I'm sure that deal will be in place if they do want to use their players and likeness. Um, so far they can just use the, the uniform, the name, and everything like that because the NFL owns that. The other one is up to the, the Players Association the likeness and all that goodiness. Anyway, it seems unlikely that 2K would bother making football games without the rights to current NFL players, as well as the real teams. But that's exactly what it did more than a decade ago, after EA snatched up exclusive rights to the NFL license titles in late 2004. 2K Sports released All Pro Football 2K8, its first and only football game after 2K11 ESPN NFL 2K5 in 2016. 2007 on PS3, Xbox 360. In recent years, 2K has been expanding its footprint in the sports market, inking publishing deals for titles like HB Studios, The Golf Club 2019, and Information NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. Um, 2K Studios has always been making great looking game, great graphics, but so far with this trend with uh, microtransaction um, all their games are pretty much riddled with that stuff in it. Um, it kind of sucks because the consumers suffer in the end. Most people don't even buy the current games. I don't buy them anymore. Um, I can't say I don't buy them. I always get them at like the bargain bin price of like five bucks when they released 2K19 um, for $5. That's when I purchased the game. Other than that, I bought like 2K, uh, 2K18 and um, I haven't even purchased 2K20 yet because it's just not worth it with all the stuff that's in the game, with all that microtransaction crap that kind of makes you... It, it, it's harder to progress in the game if you don't grind as hell in order for you to get those coins in order to increase your attributes, which makes it harder and harder. Um, especially with 2K20, I felt like it was a lot harder because of how the have it where you can upgrade your players. It's 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 a pain. Let's just put it in simplest terms. Okay, it's a very interesting time for the NFL to sign a licensing agreement with another game publisher. The new contract with 2K only possible because of a change in terms of NFL arrangement with EA. The deal previously encapsulates any kind of league licensing video game, which is why EA was able to make 2012 arcade style NFL Blitz. After acquiring the brand from the De Defensant Midway Games, but the NFL spokesman told Polygon that EA's current exclusive contract with League only covers NFL licensing, license simulation, football video game on computers, consoles, and mobile devices. Moreover, EA's existing deal is set to expire at the end of 2021 NFL season in early 2022, according to industry sources with direct knowledge of the terms while EA would presumably seek to renew its contract again for Madden. A lucrative NFL franchise has been the bedrock of EA Sports late for over three decades. And the only reason they do that is because people keep buying the same game every single year. I stopped buying Madden a while ago because it's, it's the same freaking game. There's nothing changes in the game. And yet they pack on all these freaking card packs, all this stupid microtransaction bullshit just like they put in FIFA games that people just don't know any better and they keep buying them and purchasing all that nonsense over and over every single year, every single year and they make in boats loads of money because people are freaking idiots and they don't know how to make the right decision. Just don't buy the extras. Don't. If you guys don't buy it, they will not make it and they won't put it in the game. So you're kind of screwing over the masses here, especially me, because I don't even buy them anymore with all the crap that's in it. So I suck at Madden now, but it's okay. It's not worth it. Anyway, a lucrative annual franchise bedrock. The NFL 
may finally be willing to open things up some competition after more than 15 years of exclusivity. I don't know why the NFL wouldn't give 2K part of that licensing also. Because what that means is they're going to be getting money from both sides. They're going to get more money. And if they want to, I'm sure 2K wouldn't mind signing an agreement that gives the NFL like royalty or something between those lines. I'm sure NFL gets something a lot more from from EA, and that's why they've been able to hold it. Or if they're getting like truckloads of money from EA, I'm sure 2K can afford to pay the NFL truckloads of money too, because they have it, especially on how well. Um, 2K has been doing with Red Dead Redemption as well as Grand Theft Auto. They're doing really well, so they should have the money. They can they can pay them. 15 years of exclusive, if, especially if by the 2K has demonstrated the same kind of talent football that it applied, bringing its basketball series Apex Sports Gaming. Expanding the NFL presence in the world of gaming has become a focus on the league as well as to look, grow, look to grow the next generation of fan back fan based said Joey Regu I cannot say that name senior vice president of consumer products at NFL reviving our partnership with TK was natural step in effort electronic arts released a state following statement in response to the NFL and TK's newly announced partnership EA Sports is the exclusive popular share of NFL simulation games and our partnership with NFL and NFL PA remains unchanged our agreements have always allowed for non-exclusive development of non-simulation games on various platforms. Our commitment to NFL fans, which spends almost 30 years, has never been stronger. And we're having our best, best year yet. Madden NFL 20 is a successful game ever in the franchise. New modes like Superstar, KO, and other Madden NFL esports broadcasts are growing the fan base. We'll be building on that momentum with more and different experiences on more platforms with new ways to play and years to come. Okay. While EA's contention that licensing agreement with NFL and NFL PFL was allowed for non-exclusive uh, games and various platforms, it is technically true. It's somewhat misleading. The publisher indeed started out with exclusive rights to make arcade-style football games, management titles, and not the traditional simulation games like Madden and NFL. It's just that platform that were different back then. Here's a relevant wording from a new release dated December 13, 2004, announcing EA's initiative five-year exclusive contracts with both NFL and NFLPA. Both their agreements are exclusive for action simulation, arcade style, manager on the PC, and all the game devices and consoles, including consoles online features. The agreement do not include exclusive rights to other types of games, accessibility from the internet or wireless um, devices, including cellular phones. Over the year, as arrival of smartphone and tablets, though mobile games on a new level of relevance. EA's contracts evolved to encompass console, mobile, PC platform. Some years ago, the deals become limited to simulations football, leaving other publishers free to form agreement with NFL and NFL PA and non-exclusive. So, uh, overall, this is really great news. Like I said, more product, we win. So if this is one of the stepping stones, I am really excited to see what um, 2K Sports will be able to produce, and since their contract is expiring in about two years or so, we will see if 2K Sports will sign an agreement with the NFL so they can make simulation, and maybe they can bring back 2K um, NFL sports games. That would be nice. That would be actually pretty sweet. Maybe then Madden will have um, somebody to compete against, and if they compete, we win. I mean, look at... you could kind of look at the NBA. NBA 2K has been freaking dominating because NBA Live fell off. The last NBA Live that was decent was about, what, 2005, maybe, 05? That was the last decent one. That was a really great game. But other than that, it's always been a downfall. And I've always been a um, NBA Live kind of person, but since 2K took over, I've always been just playing 2K games and that's it. Again, this is somewhat unbiased. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And if you have any comments, leave them below. And have a great one. This is the captain, and I am out.